is Kathy with Capex Creative Cafe. I have a I have a friend who asked me to tell explain to her how to make stickers, so um, that's what I'm going to do. I went to cricket dot com or design dot cricket dot com forward slash um, pound sign forward slash, and then I'm going to click on this checkbox here uh, for the terms of use and the privacy policy, and then I'm going to click open. And we have scheduled maintenance on the 9th. So I already created um, a design file for this just for the sake of time. And I've got to move this little thing out of the way and then hit customize. Okay, um, so I just did a search in the images and I just typed in up here Christmas um, gnomes, Christmas ornaments, and did a search that way. I typed in I typed in Christmas gnomes and then you will you know get a whole bunch of designs that you can choose from and you would just click on one and say add to canvas I'm not going to add it because I don't want to do that one but so I'm just going to cancel out of this but that's how you would get your designs so um, I just chose some random designs and I made all of these the size uh, one and a half inches high. I think that's a pretty good size for a sticker. So this Santa and this ornament still need to be resized. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the height right here and put in 0.5. Oh, that's really small. 1.5. Okay, that's better. We have our little Santa, and then here we're going to go up to the height and type in 1.5. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to group them just so it's easier to move them all at once and move them over here. And then I'm going to go down here to shapes on the lower left and I'm going to click on square. takes it a minute. Okay, so I am going to click on the square and then I'm going to unlock down here in the lower left hand corner or you can unlock it up here. But I'm going to change the width to 6.75 by 9.25 and that's the size of your that you can print stickers out on or print anything out on. That's the largest you can um, print than cut with. So I'm just going to use this as my backdrop um, and I'm going to arrange it and move it to the back. Um, I'm going to use that as my backdrop so you can so I know how, how many um, designs I can fit into that space. So I'm going to ungroup these and I'm going to take this first ornament and I am going to go up to offset right here. And it's on 0 .1, 0 0.25. Let's see what 0 0.125 does. Zero point one two five looks much better, and you can see that the black um, offset is here now. So I'm going to change that to white, and you can see over here on the on the right side, I've got that um, that part's grayed out, so you know that's what I um, am, am on. So I'm going to go up here to colors and change this to white. 
So I've changed that to white. And now um, I'm going to highlight both of these and click flatten. And then when I move it over to the black, you'll be able to see um, the white outline, the white um, offset. So I'll do the same thing for this one. Create an offset, 0 0.125. And I want to check this to see, wait, I don't think that worked. Hmm, that looks too big. Let me... Yeah, it's not holding the 0 0.1. Oh my gosh, that's not what I want. Well, let's do another one. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's a little finicky. Okay, so then we're going to turn this to white, and then flatten, move this up here. You want to make sure you flatten so your Cricut knows, your Cricut software knows to print it first and then cut it. Change it to white. Flatten. And then I'm going to continue with these off screen and then I'll be back. So I duplicated a bunch of these to just fill up the page. Um, and all I did to duplicate was, and I turned this one sideways so I could get a couple more on the bottom. And all I did was right click and click duplicate. See if we can get a third one in there. And all you need to do to turn it is this arrow right here at the top, right? That's how you turn it. So I've got my maker turned on. I've got my printer set up. I'm going to, uh, let's see, hold on. I've got to cancel. I've got to click on this and get rid of that. And then highlight all of these and click unflatten and then flatten and then we're going to click make it so now we have our print and cut piece and we're going to click continue. I already have my print sticker paper in the printer and I'm going to tell it to send it to the printer.
and then I'm going to, I'm going to keep the bleed on and then use system dialog box. And I've got my printer selected up here, my Epson WF7610 series. And then I'm going to view system dialog and click print. And the screen for this will pop up. Right here. And you want to do, let's see. We'll see how this comes out. I didn't wasn't able to change some of the settings I wanted to change. So I'm going to tell it. Um, I'm going to select the base material and I'm going to look for poster board. And then I'm going to click done. And then now my cricket is flashing. So here are the stickers printed out. My printer the settings I wanted to change were to make it so that it would print on the finest quality. And I don't know why I couldn't do that because my printer stinks and puts lines through things. So, but this is, they're still cute. So I'm just going to put it on the mat. This ink isn't all the way dry. And then I'm going to um, go into design space and tell it to cut. So my um, Cricut is flashing. I've already loaded the map and we're gonna hit cut. And now it's gonna read the, um, the black lines, which will tell it where to cut. thinking I probably should have put it on regular sticker paper instead of poster board.
and actually I'm using Cricut um, printable vinyl. This is the printable vinyl. There, that looks pretty good. So this worked out great. Um, so I'll just peel all these off the mat and I've got some little stickers for Christmas I can put in my planner. So actually it worked out pretty well putting it on poster board, but I think next time I really will use um, a couple of these for a little beat up. I will use the um, Printable vinyl setting. But these are really cute. If you have any questions, let me know.